Oops. What the heck he is doing into this bridge? This is not for him. We are people are always in New York City. There is no more bike lane in Brooklyn Bridge. Welcome to Brooklyn. Dumbo is one of my favorite place to walk and explore the beauty. And here I want to show you guys another cool building. The old Earth building. In 1930s that was one of the tallest building. Peak hour for the traffic. Lots of cars are moving as I said. 100,000 car or maybe more pass through Brooklyn Bridge each day. One of the most unique view. You see this typical view in movie, TV show. The sound of these waves really makes this place unique and relaxing. There is a secret spot you can go and take some pictures. One of the best view you could get. New York City is a land of opportunity. It's a place for those who want to live into American dream. And right now I am in front of a bridge that's made by immigrants and designed by immigrants. Hey everyone, this is Sifat from New York City Walking Show. In this video we'll walk around Dumbo and also cross this 150 years old Brooklyn Bridge and try to see its beauty and also share some historical facts that you might found interesting so without further ado let's begin our journey as you can see a beautiful Manhattan skyline just in front of your eyes and this East River makes it much more pretty and of course, this is Manhattan Bridge and up ahead the Williamburg Bridge. Three bridges that connect Manhattan. This is just mind blowing. The area called Dumbo, it's meaning down under the Manhattan Bridge overpass. That's why in a short form it's called Dumbo. Like in 10 or 15 years ago, it was an industrial area. No one really pay attention or care about what's going on here. But in 10 or 15 years, it changed a lot. Now it's become New York's most visited place. It's not just because of this immersive view in front of your eyes, but of course the beauty, the relax, you will get here is just priceless there are three way you can come to Dumbo either walk across the Brooklyn Bridge take a subway if you are take subway then you can take F train and get out at York Street and if you take A or C train you can get out at High Street or if you take two or three train, then Clark Street would be a nice spot to get out and come to this place. Or you can ev even take the East River Ferry. That's the easiest way to come to Dumbo. And Dumbo, you will have plenty of things to do up ahead. It's Time Out Market. This is Jane Carousel. And of course, the immersive view of Manhattan skyline. You can also see the Statue of Liberty 
from here so it's pretty fun and interesting place as you can see people are taking pictures it's amazing about an hour it would be sunset so you will get much more pretty view from here I will share more information about Brooklyn Bridge once we will get into it but now let's talk about Dumbo as I said that 10 or 15 years ago this place was totally uh, industrial area but now you can see lots of high-rise building apartments food court it's just so pretty this is Jane's carousel it's not open at that time a very historic carousel in whole New York City and this is Time Out Market inside of this market you will have plenty of space to eat and try different foods and as you can see right in front of you this is Manhattan Bridge and a train passing by BDNQ this train are passing through Manhattan Bridge so if you are taking one of those train you can also get a chance to see the view And far away is William Burke Bridge. And today is January 19, 2022. And temperature is currently 48 degree Fahrenheit. It's not that cold, but it's not that warm either. But it's enjoyable weather Dumbo is one of my favorite place to walk and explore the beauty just look at the view that's the ferry I was talking about you can easily come here by this ferry this is the time out market there is a secret spot you can go and take some pictures it's basically a rooftop that we are trying to go right now hopefully it's open if not then we'll get out but let's try to see the view from that rooftop it's free and open to all But the view we'll get from there is definitely priceless. This is called Time Out Market Rooftop. 
It's a very popular place. One more floor and then we are at the top of Time Out Market. I'm quite surprised that it's no one is here. So that's good for me. This is the rooftop. Wow. From here you can also see the Hudson Year, the town Manhattan skyline, downtown Manhattan, pretty much everything. Look at that, how pretty it is from this rooftop. One of the best view we could get. And this is Hudson Yard. Now let's get out and explore other parts. If you want to be a creative and take some good pictures, you can use this arch to take a good picture of Manhattan Bridge or either Brooklyn Bridge. There are some sort of photo shoot going on. Because this place is meant for that. And in Dumbo, there are plenty of space uh, you can take good pictures and I will try to show you that in this video I showed you already a few places and now we'll see more this Emperor love sign is here because the Valentine Day is coming so it's a perfect way to take some valentine pictures awesome this is the perfect time to visit this place like around 3 30 or 4 depending on the season that means before sunset This is winter season, so I just mentioned the time accordingly, Dad. Nowadays it's getting dark too early. It's very dangerous to climb up the rocks so I'll never recommend to do that 
even though some people does it and take some pictures but it's very risky during summer it's much more pretty here because you can see much more greeneries but even now it looks absolutely gorgeous This is the only place you can get so close to the water and take a picture you may like. The sound of these waves really makes this place unique and relaxing. I can spend whole day to just sit here and relax So this is one of the few place you can take some good pictures in Dumbo. Now I'm heading toward Washington Street, one of the most popular street to take some pictures right here in Dumbo you've seen that place might be in uh, many social media it's right there in summer this lawn always full at the size of the pillar of Manhattan Bridge it's huge is very beautiful
so this is Washington Street the street I was mentioned before one of the best place to take a picture with Manhattan Bridge and you will see in a moment people are setting up their cameras as you can see so that they can take some good pictures just had to look toward back and boom this is the view the most unique view you see in this typical view in movie TV show this is amazing And if you want to go to Brooklyn Bridge from here just follow my road this is the easiest way you will find the Brooklyn Bridge underpass you just need to walk uh, into Washington Street few blocks one last view We are still in Washington Street and heading toward Brooklyn Bridge underpass. I'll show you the intersection when I'll be there. Because I know for many of you are planning to visit New York City and want to walk into Brooklyn Bridge and not sure which way should you go. So I think in this video we'll find all of your answer and the direction. And this is the most latest video in 2022 about Dumbo and Brooklyn Bridge and be careful into this street and always try to follow all the rules and regulation and be careful be a very long walk because Brooklyn Bridge is 1.1 mile ahead is York Street and Washington Street probably one more block to Brooklyn Bridge uh, underpass as you can see the sign We just need to follow Washington Street. And if you are planning to visit uh, Brooklyn Bridge in winter season, then definitely wear some proper winter dress because it might be very cold up there. 
even though the weather seems to be okay, sunny, but still then it would be very, very cold with open air. So here we are at Prospect Street and Washington Street. That's the intersection you always want to looking for if you want to find Brooklyn Bridge underpass from Dumbo. That's the intersection. And that's the underpass right over there near that halal food court. Right here. Welcome to Brooklyn. We are heading toward Manhattan. So Brooklyn Bridge is one of the largest suspension bridge in 1883. So Brooklyn Bridge basically started the construction in 1869 and it finished the construction in 1883. And at that time it was the longest suspension bridge in the world and the height of the pillar is 272 feet that is 82.9 meter and the length of the bridge is 6,016 feet that is 1,833.7 meter and that is 1.1 mile long Oh wow, Brooklyn Bridge is quite busy because this is the best time. And the Brooklyn Bridge is designed by John Augustus Roebling. We'll talk about more into his life and about some history of this bridge. So basically, Mr. Roebling's born in Germany in 1806 and he finished his uh, education in Berlin but at the age of 25 he immigrated to United States of America and started living in Pennsylvania so that's the reason I said earlier that Brooklyn Bridge is designed by an immigrant But in 18th century, suspension bridge has not a very good reputation because of the often failed if it's high wind or strong uh, heavy loaded stuff passing through the bridge, it's often failed. That's why suspension breeze doesn't have a very good reputation on that time. But, but Mr. Roblings had a good reputation building two bridge. One is Niagara Gorge and another is Ohio River in Cincinnati. So that's why New York City official hired him to design this iconic bridge and as you can see he is quite successful to make this bridge another good thing about Brooklyn Bridge now there is no bike lane it's all for pedestrians the bike lane is moved to that side of the street they close one lane and make into bike lane But from 1950, this bridge made for automobile and they had six lane but in 2021, it's only five lane. And this bridge mostly made by immigrant workers, they call them sand hogs and paid them two dollars 
that equivalent to $36 to $40 in 2022. So you can imagine how cheap the labor was on that time. And the designer, Augustus Robling, couldn't finish these architectures because a very unpleasant situation happened with him and he died. Basically, Roblings was taking some compost reading across the East River and a boat smashed some of his toes and later, I mean after three weeks, he got tetanus and died. So he couldn't finish the bridge. Then his son, Washington Roblings, take the lead and become the chief engineer of this bridge. But there is another trick. A tragedy happened with Washington Roblings as well. As I say, during that time, immigrant worker has many, many issues. Lots of immigrant uh, workers died to making this bridge. And not only the immigrant workers, but also Mr. Washington Roblings himself suffered from the bends and become partially paralyzed. After that, his wife Emily take the charge, but Washington Roblings uh, direct her. And this is how they finished the bridge. So this was pretty much the fun fact or historic fact about Brooklyn Bridge that I want to share with you guys. I hope you find that interesting and according to the dot more than 1,000 car and 4,000 cyclists and 10,000 pedestrian cross this bridge every single day Wow the view is getting very pretty I can see the one vendor build the Hudson Yard Pretty nice. That's the Hudson Yard. That's why I really love to walk into Brooklyn Bridge because it's a historic bridge. It's 153 years old. And I will always suggest if you want to walk into Brooklyn Bridge, then come to Dumbo and then head toward Manhattan. Only then you can get the best view and you do not have to look back to take pictures. It will be all in one frame. This view will never make you bored. And the sun is right up there. It would be set in 43 minutes from now. I really like Brooklyn Bridge more now because there is no cycle lane so pedestrian has all the rights to walk and even relax themselves to take some pictures otherwise all the time cyclists just saying bike lane bike lane if you ever been into Brooklyn Bridge and had that experience do let me know in the comment section that have you ever get screaming from a cyclist about bike lane There is the Lady Liberty. It would be pretty difficult to see her, but there she go. The symbol of freedom, the symbol of second chance. Oops, 
what the heck he is doing into this bridge this is not for him we are people are always in New York City there is no more bike lane in Brooklyn Bridge he violated the rules and still saying bike lane bike lane but this is no bike lanes and they also post this sign no lock that means you can't carry a lock and hang it here before people used to do it and I see one two three four five more but before it was much more but now only few locks but still it's not permitted it's not permitted and not allowed here in the bridge but still you will find people will violate the rules but it's pretty nice but that will make this bridge more wet it will be not good for the bridge but this is New York City anything is possible And if you look in that side, you will see the skyline of uh, Midtown Manhattan, the Empire State Building, Chrysler Building, then Central Park Tower, one Vanderbilt, and many more. This is really a pretty place for sure. As I said, it's getting very windy, so you have to dress properly if you are planning to visit Brooklyn Bridge in winter. From here you can see the Statue of Liberty a bit clearly. I'll try my best to zoom. watching this video such far and haven't give a like to this video I think 
this is the best time to hit that like button for me and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribe to my channel for regular updates and video like that from New York City I always try to give you guys the updated history and walk and some tips and trick about New York City so if you want to get more update notification from my channel then definitely hit the subscribe button for me and it's for free Which view attract you more? The view of Midtown Manhattan from here or the view of Downtown Manhattan? I like both view. This is a top class view. There are some sort of renovation going on into Brooklyn Bridge, that's why you've seen those scaffolding. Your tour to New York City would be incomplete if you didn't take a walk into Brooklyn Bridge. Because in this video I try my best to give you guys the possible way you can come to Brooklyn Bridge and the best place you can take pictures, everything you need to know about Brooklyn Bridge. Because many of you are planning to visit New York City for the first time and this video might be helpful because this is the most updated video because things are changed in New York City so quickly if you're watching some old videos about Brooklyn Bridge that might give you 
some information but when you come to New York City you will feel hmm it's not the same I saw in the video but this is 2022 January 19 and I'm giving you guys the latest video about Brooklyn Bridge This is the scaffolding maybe when you are planning to visit New York City and be in New York City you might not see in this scaffolding It's a peak hour for the traffic. Lots of cars are moving, as I said. 100,000 cars or maybe more pass through Brooklyn Bridge each day. Up ahead is a Manhattan Municipal Building and top of that building you will see a statue that called Civic Fame. It's 25 feet tall statue and second largest tall statue in Manhattan. After Statue of Liberty that's the second largest statue. It's a golden statue at the top of Manhattan Municipal Building up there. If you are coming to Brooklyn Bridge from Manhattan side then you have to always go back in order to take pictures that's not very convenient but if you are crossing the bridge from Dumbo you can easily take some pictures I know that's not a big issue but I'm just sharing my experience that that would be the better way Or you do not have to cross the whole bridge if you don't do not have time just get out at city hall station in manhattan walk up through the bridge take some pictures and go back you do not need to cross the whole bridge but if you want to cross the whole bridge and make a memory then i think dumb would be the best way this is the manhattan municipal building and at the top of this building you are seeing a golden statue called civic fame that's the second largest statue in Manhattan on New York City apart from Statue of Liberty what a view and during night it would be look much much different We are almost at the end of Brooklyn Bridge.
I just try to zoom and focus on the civic fame statue from here. It's a bit far. And here I want to show you guys another cool building, the old Orf building. In 1930s, that was one of the largest or tallest building. It's right there. That's why I always surprise that in 1930s this building was one of the tallest building in the world. It is 792 feet tall. The old old building. And this is the Manhattan Municipal Building and you can see the civic fame.
that's why I say there is always something interesting or fascinating about New York City skyline and overall in New York City here are some souvenir uh, stall you can buy some winter accessories keychain uh, postcard uh, picture frame and some Statue of Liberty uh, toy Look at that! On, so go. many taxis! Wow! So many taxi toy! Take Pretty go. cool! Yeah. Keychain, magnets, one for one dollar. Pretty reasonable and plenty of options you go. can choose. Wow! Amazing! So that's the end of Brooklyn Bridge walk. We walk almost 1.1 mile long bridge and one of the oldest bridge in Manhattan. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please hit the like button for me and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribe to my channel for regular updates and video like that from new york city because i always try to keep you guys updated and do not forget to spread some positivity and love to the world because spreading positivity can makes you feel better as always stay safe and be positive I'll see you guys somewhere else from New York City. Good night, everyone.